hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install an android operating system on your virtual box for those who don't know virtual box virtual box is a tool which allows you to run different operating systems on your host operating system so let's begin first we have to download and install virtual box now this is really easy to download virtual box head to your chrome browser and then search for virtual box and you can see oracle vm virtual box so you click on it and by the left you can see downloads over here so you click on downloads and then after clicking on that you're going to see packages for different devices so you can see we are using a windows machine so we are going to select windows host and as you can see virtualbox is now downloading now i already have it installed so i don't have to download again but if you don't have it already then you can just download and then use the normal installation process now if you find it difficult to install then you can check my previous video the link is in the comments and it will guide you through that now we also have to download our android iso file and this is the file we are going to use for the installation head to your google browser and then search for android x86 now android x86 is an android open source project which makes android os run on different devices so this is the first page over here android x86 porting android to x86 okay now you click on download and then you can select any of these sites and it would start downloading so i already have it downloaded you can see over here android x86 underscore 64 so once you download it this is how it's going to look like now let's proceed to the next stage of the installation now after installing virtual box this is how it's going to look like and we are now going to create a new virtual machine which we will use for the installation so click on new over here and then enter the machine name so let's call this android os now select the type over here for microsoft to order and then set the version to order slash unknown 64 bits and then click on next now we are going to allocate ram to this android os so let's give this let's say um, six gig of ram i think this is it six gig of ram and then next now click on create we are going to create a virtual hard disk and now click on next dynamically allocated next now this is the maximum amount of storage this device can use so the minimum is 10 so let's give this like 30 gig of rom okay 31 okay and then click on create so you can see our new virtual machine has been created now after selecting your machine from the left click on settings up here and then you go to system by the left and then you can see this is the motherboard and this is the ram as we have already said before and then you click on processor over here and then you allocate the cpu core to this machine so let's give this three cpu core now you can see the range where it's not recommended so let's bring it down to three and then click on ok now you can customize other things there but we're okay with that now let's click on start okay so now this is where we are going to select the iso file we downloaded so you click on this file icon over here and then you click on add now locate your iso file you downloaded so this is the dix image file over here android x86 let's click on open and then we'll click on choose and then we'll click on start now let's scroll down to advanced and then hit enter and then scroll down or to install to specified hard disk and then hit enter Now click on yes. So you can see over here run android x86. Hit enter to select ok. So you can see our android os is now booting. Now we just have to proceed with this just like a new device you got. So we click on start okay let's capture now use the arrow button to screw down so you can see it's currently at vision settings then let's go up up now that's the start hit enter now you can connect to the network to complete the setup but let's just skip that for now now use the arrow button to screw down and then hit on skip so let's continue here you can set the date and time but let me just next Now you can use the tab button to navigate down and then continue, accept, well let's go with a pin, 
Next, re enter the pin. Confirm. So let's proceed with quick step. This is the home launcher, and our Android OS is ready. So from here, you can use this to do whatever you want to do. So basically, this is how to install Android OS on a virtual box. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.